Hello, you wonderful lot. It's Gran here with another episode of Vintage Story on the Rusty Gear server. Now then, today is all about bees. And I'm here at my build base with my Langstroth stack. And I first learned about these when Shino taught me how to make one. So first we're going to go back in time and I'm going to show you that clip of Shino teaching me all about the Langstroth hive. And as you can see, I'm well versed with them now and I've made one here at my build site. But it wasn't all plain sailing. There was a little problem that I had to sort out and I'll show you what that was a little bit later. So while I'm harvesting these, let's go back in time. You're, you're a sprinter, aren't you? Oh yes, I, I like to do my running, you know, a bit of exercise. <laughs> <laughs> at least in like, game man, you are you are gone <laughs> wish it was this quick in real life that would be good <laughs> oh, oh I'm, a, I'm a chubby white american it's hard to keep up with you brits <laughs> i see you <laughs> go on let them get them little legs going <laughs> move them chonker legs yeah <laughs> All right, where do we want to put this thing So, in? um, well, I should make a space in here then, shouldn't I, really? The nice thing is you're not going to have to worry about the raccoons getting into the hive. Ah, right. It's raccoon proof. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's one nice thing. <laughs> now, I should be able to knock out these middle pieces without that top hive going, shouldn't I? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and then that one. And I'll make a little bit of space so we've got uh, space in the middle. Is that space enough? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you only need one block space. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's get your base made. And to do that, we're going to bring up the handbook. I don't know about you, but I can't remember all these recipes. Oh, no. I, I always have to look things up. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to be using, if we're looking in the handbook, we're going to be end up using a hammer in the top spot. We're going to need the hive panels uh, across right. the middle. And then yep. you'll need a total of eight logs. Now, you right. can mix and match. So if mm -hmm. there's different woods that you want to use, you can do that and you'll get a whole new appearance. So it's completely customizable. Right. Uh, yeah. Which that's good. I think is amazing. Yeah, definitely. So I'm going to go ahead and throw together a base. Because you've got the hive still on you, right? I have. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to go to control four and we're going to put the hive down or the base down. Yeah. All right, now we're going to make two supers. Okay. One super is going to be added to the Langstroth top to make the brood box. Super. Right. And the other one is where we're going to put the frames at. So to make the top, you have to have a super and the top kind of gets put together. Right, right. And I'm going to go ahead and make both supers right now. Okay. But I can't, I guess I can't make them both because, uh, well, I can. One will just fall on the ground. Why there not? We go. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So for the next piece that we're going to make, we're going to make the length to the top. Okay. And it is good. almost identical to making the super. Uh, except for we got to put one more board on top. So that's the brood box. Is that the the top one we're going to make. About? It's it's called the brood box top. Is what I'm making. Um, right. You have to make the top, and then you put the top on the brood box. Oh, I see. Yeah. So I'm going to throw this topper over to you. It just goes into your normal inventory slot. Okay. And so you're just going to take it from one of your normal hotkey bars and click on one of those supers. Right. 
There we go. There you go. So nice. now you've made a brood box. So now you can take your hive and you can right click it on that brood box. Right. There we go. Yeah. There you go. Now you have a populated Langstroth brood box. Nice. So next thing we got to do now is we got to make all of the lined frames. All oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to let you make up a bunch of those. Ooh. And I think you have. <laughs> Let's see. You need to make the empty frame, which is resin. 0.1 liters of resin, three sticks, and a uh, hive panel on top of it. So if you go right. into the inventory, if you go into the, the handbook, not. and you look up empty frame. Empty frame, recipe. yeah. So, yeah, the panel on top, uh, sticks, mm -hmm. and the, um, the resin underneath. Okay. Yep. And each um, each brood bot or each super can hold 10 frames so you'll need to make you can make any number you want but you'll need mm -hmm. 10 to, to fully fill it okay so if i do uh seven eight nine ten and stick there and resin at the bottom Okay, I have ten. What is right. that? There we go. So now you have to put those empty frames into. Oh, hello, piggy. Oh. You need to make. A... That's not one of mine. Scared me. That's not one of yours. No, I didn't bring it. <laughs> and okay. we'll need to make a frame rack. So let me make that frame rack really quick. Oh right. Okay. It's uh you'll get out of my way here we go <laughs> trampling all over the hives thank you piggy <laughs> mm. let's see so i'll need the hammer and sticks so. three of those okay. and the frame rack is another piece it has to go into your uh, frame rack. Backpack slot. All right. Okay. There we go. So okay. There we go. Now you can come okay. put your ten empty frames. Okay. Okay. And this is how you repair your frames. Also. Nice. So when you need to when you need to harvest your frames when you need to uh, do all that you put them back into there. So now yeah. inside the box, go ahead and grab ten of the frame liners, um, and then you'll end up right clicking on each one of the empty frames. Right. Nice. There we go. Okay. Now you can take those 10 out of there and mm -hmm. you can put them into your super. Okay. That last one. There we go. <laughs> Very good. So now all we need to do is close this and put it all together. Right, closed. So the base is in there. Let me just oh. look. Oh yeah, there's that. Okay. So go ahead and grab your stupor. Uh, oh no, I'm closing it. Just go to it. your bag slot. Oh, of course. There we go. I keep forgetting that. <laughs> <laughs> and there we go. That's on there. Mm -hmm. And now your top. 
at the top. Is that is that in the bag slot as well? I don't remember. Yes. It is. Okay. There we go. Yeah, it is. Does it matter which way you're facing as to which way it will go? No, nope, it'll it'll orientate it. Okay. There we go. <gasps> Look at that. Well done. That looks awesome. <laughs> I love it. They nice. are really neat. <laughs> I love I love those hives. That is so neat. That is really cool. I, w I will take that one at the top there down. So <laughs> I won't leave it up there. <laughs> Ah, it's cool. So now what will happen is that hive will, uh, they'll go out, they'll start scouting just like the rest of these will. Uh -huh. And then once they've found all these flowers, they'll start making honey for you. Yeah. It says that the bees are out scouting for flowers. Nice. Yep. Now this, we've got the settings on this. There is a configuration file for the From Golden Combs mod. Right. Um, and in that JSON file, you can actually set the number of days. So if you're in a single player world and you mm -hmm. want to speed it up or slow it down, you can do that. All right. Um, we've got it set for, I think it's six days. So every six days, mm -hmm. in game days, one yeah. of those lined frames will become covered in honey. Nice. Be harvestable. So you've got you know, about two months that that thing will run. Of course, we're getting into the winter time, so things will slow down for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that is awesome. I love uh, that. <laughs> where do you want the, uh, where do you want your frame rack at? Um, I should, um, I, hmm. I suppose I should leave it in the, there's a, a vessel near the door on the inside. Um, I should put it in there, I think. In the one yeah, to the right here. Oh, yeah, you could put it in there. <laughs> oh, no, you can't because oh, it's can't a, you put uh, in? an entity. No, it's an entity. Oh, right. Uh, can it go on a, on a table then? Or That's nope, underneath. That that's that's underneath there. I'll move this along. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'll have to use my thing there. Okay, can I put it there? There we go. Nice. Okay. Oh, I forgot. You you can't fly yet, can you? I can. Oh, can you? I can. I try not to use it too much because I feel it's a bit <laughs> cheaty. But... <laughs> it's not a bit cheaty. It's very cheaty. <laughs> it is. Let's, let's call things as they are. It's very <laughs> cheaty. But... I only want to use it when I'm building because it's up in the mountains. But <laughs> So I try not to use it when I'm not building. <laughs> I I like using it for, for a couple reasons. One when I'm recording content, I want to get through stuff as quickly as possible. Oh, yeah, yeah. And when yeah. I need to prep for a video, I need to get through stuff as, as fast as possible. I don't have a whole yeah. lot of time to record. Yeah, uh, that, that's fair you enough. You know, and to prep during the week. So, mm -hmm. you know, if I pop on this and I set it to a speed of six and I take off, you know, 15, 20,000 blocks <laughs> to go find something. <laughs> yeah. I don't feel bad about that <laughs> at all. <laughs> I'm sure I'm going to be getting used to it very, very soon. <laughs> I, uh, I have it on everywhere. all the time. Yeah. yeah, I have it on all the time. So whenever uh -huh. I, I have to, I have to consciously turn it off. Sometimes I can't remember. Uh -huh. And I'll just start flying around inside my house. Just like <laughs> right up to the ceiling. Oh, dear. So. Uh. Well, hey, I think that was a lot of fun. I appreciate you coming on. It's been some time oh, with me. Thank you very much. That's awesome. I love the hive. That's, uh, yeah. I never thought I'd have one of those. <laughs> Now awesome. you won't be able to like these the, where you already have the ceramic hives. Mm -hmm. uh, those hives are gone. Uh, so if you wanted to create another Langstroth hive, you would have to have another populated skep. Right, right. Uh, to do that. So okay. uh, anytime, anytime you need a populated skep, uh -huh. come by my place. Right. I have a lot of bees, and I'm going to be setting up a lot more skeps up the normal type specifically for this okay excellent so i can't take these no. skeps out of these then the ceramic ones i can't take those out nope. of those all right okay nope once they're inside the ceramic they're done they don't uh they don't um swarm 
Right. So once they go inside any of the from golden combs items, yeah. they won't swarm yeah. anymore. So. Okay, I'll just have to It's good create... that you've got one yeah. protected. Yeah. Yeah. I'll have so to... if you wanted to make another hive, what you might do is make a populated skep and put around this one so it'll swarm. Yeah. Or yeah. like I said, just come by my place, grab as many hives as you want. Okay. Use them whenever you want. That's great. Mikasa. Mikasa is Sukasa. Sukasa, yeah. So. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> awesome. All right. So thank you very much, Grant. I will. I'll let you go. Okay. Thank you, Shino. That was brilliant. Yeah. These ceramic hives have to go somewhere else. So I'm thinking I'm going to put them over here. Ooh, look at the amaranth. Nice. I think... Yeah, I think over here somewhere. Oh, I've got to replant that flax. Mm. What about this little hill here? I think they'll go nicely on here. I want a nice pattern. So I'm going to mark out probably a circle. I've got eight of these ceramic hives, so I think I'll put them in a little circle here. Um, so if I put one here, one, two, three, and one there, one, two, three, one there, one, two, three, and another one there, then I can put another one in between all these. So uh, one there, and then one there, one there, and then one there. Nice. Okay. Let's go get them. So, I need to take the tops off. I'll put these down here. All full of honey. Lovely. I'll have so much honey in a bit, I won't know what to do with it. Might sell it in my shop. A little sideline or something. <laughs> All right, that's all that done. Now, can I? I need it in my bag slot, don't I? That's it. Okay, let's get this over there. Now, I wonder, can I put this straight on the floor? I should be able to, as long as I make it secure. Let's pop it. Or should I put it on a... No, no, no. I think I'll just leave it on the floor. But yeah, if I put a wall around, it should be safe from raccoons. Okay, one more left to go. There we go. Oh, where's the gate gone? Right, and that one goes there. Nice. I'm going to use andesite wall. I think it's really pretty. Really like it. Let's see if I can get this shape right around here. Leave enough room around them for the flowers. Nice. That looks okay. I quite like that there. Got to fill it with flowers. But let's get this honey out of these tops and then we can put the tops on. I can't believe how much honey you get out of those Langstroth hides. But of course, you leave them and they just continue to fill up. And because there's 10 frames in each of the compartments, well, that, that adds up to a lot. And you can leave them for quite some time as well, so that's good. Now, the thing I wasn't sure about... Oops, no, that shouldn't go up there. Let me just put these up because these don't stack. The thing I wasn't sure of was whether the bees would stay in these ceramic pots when I moved them. But actually, unfortunately, they don't. So with moving all these ceramic hives over here, I've lost all the bees from these pots. So I'm going to have to repopulate them. Which means getting more of the skeps populated. Just put that in the middle, just for a little bit of light here. Not that it needs it because there's no bees here. Yeah, that looks all right. I quite like that. Let me just pop this in here. Right, which flowers shall I use? 
Uh, I've got a lot of these golden poppies. Ooh, I've got a very lot of these golden poppies. I think it's going to be golden poppies. <laughs> I've got orange mallow there. Those are quite pretty, but that's all orangey golden. So let's have something a little bit different. Um, let's have a look. Wild daisies. Let's put some of those in, if I've got room. Okay. I can hear some grumblings. And those are from a cave I've got underneath me. So we'll pop those there. And then we'll pop some in between all the hives. There we go. That'll do nicely. Thank you very much. I might just keep this golden, actually. Let's pop as much as possible around here. There we go. Pop those, oops, a daisy. And around here. Whoa! I don't know. Can't be left alone for two minutes doing my thing. Uh, pop some in there as well. Nice. I think that ought to be enough, don't you? I think so. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. Now I need to make some skeps. Right, well, I've just harvested my cattails, so I've got quite a few. Let's see how many skeps this will make. Quite a few, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six... Seven. Oh, that'll cover all of them, but I need another one. Can I make another one? I should be able to. Let's pop this in there. Right, that, I think that's all I need. There we go. Right, so I thought about this, and I think what I'll do is... I'll pop, oops, I'll pop the populated skep on top of there and I'll put all the empty skeps in here because I'll be at the build site mostly and I'll just let it do its thing, I think. So hopefully when I come back, all these will be populated as well. So I'm going to put those along there like that. Now, can I get another, another one on? I should be able to. Yeah, I can. So those on there like that and this one right so let me see I should be able to get two of these on each of these yeah got one there and can I fit another one on the end here I think I can yeah okay so I'm gonna do that for each of these so there'll be eight of these skeps I hope will become populated in time that is there we go i mean what bee wouldn't want to be in this little aviary there we go especially with the delicious poppies get some gorgeous honey from that let's get up here need that one now so let's go over to Shino's and pinch one of his hives gotta get that one out of there okay off we go Here we go. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, I think the hives was... The, the hives were on the other side, actually, of his build. Let's have a look over here. Oh, yeah, round there, look. Oops, a daisy. Here we go. Now then, let's have a look. Oh, he has got... Uh, Oh, yeah. Oh, no. He's only got one. Oh, I don't want to take that one. Has he got some more? 
Oh, he's got some round here, look. Okay, so let me just take this one. I uh, need to get over there in my backpack. And then I'll put an empty one back. Shouldn't be long before that one's populated as well. Okay, nice. Wow, such a lot going on over here. It's awesome. Oh, I must remember to bring some more wood. I have got some. I should have brought them this time, actually. Totally forgot. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, I've got such a lot to do around here. But now I'm at the build site. Oh, it's taking... It's taking a back seat, I must admit. But we're doing bits, bits and bats, as we can fit them in. Right, so let me see. I need to get up there, don't I? Let's have a look. Oops. Oops, come on, get up. Can I get it from here? Let's have a look. Get it. I always find it a fiddle getting over to this back pack slot. There we go. It says poor at the moment, but there's lots of poppies in here, so I think it'll soon be a large population. And then hopefully it'll populate all the rest of the skips. So that's that done. Lovely. Just need to sort out this bit over here now, I think. Make it a little bit tidier. Yeah, I can't even see the hive from here. Right, so let me just make a little bit of a space in here for this. Take these away from here. Whoops. I keep not seeing where I'm hitting with my knife. Not good. I need to be a bit more careful. Look at that. I think I might make a nice fancy one to go at my build site. Let's have a look. There. Let's take this from here as well. I can stuff these in somewhere else. Around here. Look at that. Population size is large. Nice. Yeah, I quite like that over there. And this over here. Now, let me get these dummies, actually. I think even though I, I, I don't... They're a bit... Um, they're a bit redundant now, aren't they? Because I'm not, um, I'm not going to be smashing any skeps up anymore. So where should we put him? I think I'll put him behind here, actually. Let me just get rid of a few of these, and we'll place him sort of here. Uh, actually. Let's turn him round so I can see him from the front there. Is that in the middle? It is, more or less. It's a bit skew with, but that's fine. Right, let's put these round him then because he stands above the flowers, so that's all right. They're quite tall of these flowers, so... Cow parsley. That's all right. Let's take the other one over here. Now then, where am I going to put him? Let's have a look. Uh, uh, let's just put him there, look. There you go. He's guarding it, it all. Nice. Right, time to get back to my build site now. And I have... Need some pie. Pop this back in there, this flower pot. I brought that because I want to try and put one of the ferns in there. I'm not sure if they do go in a pot. Let's have a look. There we go. Nice. So here we go. Lovely. Now then. Oh, my panels are ready. Nice. Oh, no. Is that? Oh, no, no. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Right, so I'm going to do mine in ebony and bald cypress. I think that'd be a nice combination for over here. I hope I can remember how to do this. It's been a little while. Okay, so let's make the base. 
There we go. I'm going to make that out of ebony. Oh, that's, um, oh, I see. That has to go in a backpack slot. And I haven't got one ready. Let me just take all these out of here. Uh, there we go. And then that can come out. I'll put that in there. Right, let's try that again. There you go, it's jumped in. So that's the base. And I'm going to put... I'm going to put it here. And this has been waiting a while for a Langstroth hive. I found some bees around my base and I populated a skep and that is now waiting to hopefully populate this Langstroth hive once I've made it. So that's the base. I think it'll do quite nicely there. Okay so now we're going to make the supers and I'm going to make it exactly like it is in the picture because I quite like the look of that. There look at that. Nice. Very nice. Right then, so let me pop this down here and we'll make the next bit. Actually, I think I'll put it outside. It's getting a bit cramped in this tent. I really do need to make a cellar. There we go. Yeah, that looks really pretty, I think. I love it. And if I can open it, let me just move those out of there. There we go. Yeah, and there's that's where the frames go. Right, I've made another super. So I've got two supers, but I need a lid now for one of them. So I'm going to do that exactly as it is in the picture as well, because I quite like this combination. Right, okay. Right, let me put this other super down first. Uh, can I get across that? Yep, that's there. And then let's pop the lid on. Nope. Let's pop the lid on. Nope. Oh, what am I doing wrong? I thought that should go... Should that not... Oh. What? Nope, it's not letting me put this on. Okay. I'm not quite sure what's going on there, so I'll carry on with the rest of this and make the frames. There we go, 10 frames. How many more can I make? Let's make enough for the second one. And I'm going to make another box as well. In fact, I think I'll make four altogether, but because I'm, I haven't got much ebony left, I'll just do three for now and I'll do another one later. Because I'm not quite sure what else I'll need that for at the minute. Right, now we want the um, frame rack. So I'll put the frames in when I'm doing things with them. So, need that there, there it is, look. And that's another thing that goes in my backpack slot. So, um, let's pop this, where can I pop this? Um, let's pop it up there for now. There we go. Right, frame liners now. Let's have a look, how do I make these? Oh, it's waxed linen. <gasps> Oh, beeswax. I've run out of beeswax here. I'm going to have to go back home. I should have more honey by now, though. So that should be okay. I'm going to put these on here. Because you can't really see the base. And I want to just see what it looks like. I still can't get that top on, though. So I'm going to have to figure out what I've done wrong there. Put this one on. There we go. Right, so um, where shall I put this rack? I think for now, because I can't do anything with it, I'll pop it round here somewhere. Round here. It'll go down there for now. Nice. Okay, so this brood box, I've had a think, and I'm thinking one of the problems might be the way that I've put the different types of wood. I did it as in the picture, but I'm thinking maybe it should be the other way around. So let me just try this. Right, let me get this wood and... Actually, uh, let me go and get a super as well. And have another look at that. 
I'm sure, I'm sure it's got to be this. Let me take this back. I can't think of any other reason why it won't go on there. Let me just pop that down there. Right. Okay. Here we go. So that's what it's like in the handbook. I'm going to just do it the opposite way around. So I'm going to put my ebony in the middle and then my bold cypress on either end. Where's my hammer? Up there. Right, so that's got a dark, that's got an ebony lid now, really. So let's go and pop that on the super. Come on now. This must work. Oh, it does! So it was the wrong way around! Oh. Oh. Come on, let's go and put it on and see what it looks like. It's a bit dark, but I think we'll just be able to see it. Right. So, let me just scroll over to there. Oh, look at that. It looks gorgeous. Right. I am now back home again. And I need to get more wax. So, I've just come back to... I need to pick this up if I can. Come on, scroll. There we go. Let's have a look, see what's in here. Let me just pop that down there. There we go. And, oh yes, yes, I can harvest seven frames. I'm hoping this is going to be enough to do the linen. So, let's have a look. There we go, pop this down there. And Oh, oh no, no, I need to scroll off my backpack. Oh dear. There we go. There it is. Look, all that lovely honey. I don't think I can harvest it in there. I think I've got to take the frames out. So, I've got to get used to having, um, like, these. I've got to take them out with an empty inventory slot. But they will stack in another inventory slot. Okay, so, now I can pop these in here. There we go. And obviously I don't need those because they've not got any honey on them. So, with knife at hand. Look at that! Just popping out! Oh, that's awesome. It really is so much quicker. Right. There we go. Oh. No, I've got to put that in there and then go over to an empty slot. Come on now. There. That's it. Okay. And then these should go straight in there. Ready to be full of honey again close that up then scroll over pick it up then put it down pick that up and put that on easy peasy let's get this there we go nice that is so good and i'm so glad i don't have to be getting loads and loads of cattails all the time although i have made a little cattail farm now <laughs> but still you've got to harvest them let's put that on there Okay, let's come over here. And as you can see, I've populated all these ceramic hives now from the skeps I left last time I was here. So I can get this honey as well. Okay, so now I can pop this honey in here. I'm going to put 16 in there and 16 of those. And it only needs a couple of hours. Right. Yeah, I've busied myself and come back after a couple of in-game hours. I put the rest in there, so they're still doing, but uh, let's get these out and make these liners. Okay, so... Uh, waxed linen. Right. There it is. Okay, so we've done that. Right, so if I use a knife in my crafting grid with the linen, I should get the liners. So let's do that. And that. Oh, and you get two for each one, so that's nice. 
Oh, I shall have uh, quite a bit, but I want to make some more hives a bit later anyway, so that'll come in. So now, ah, the foundation that your bees will build their comb on. It's not ready yet though. You need to place it in a frame rack and then right click it with a frame liner to create a lay aligned frame. Right, let's get a set of these out and pop them in here. Oops, no, get back in. There we go. And then, ah, right click, oh yep, yeah, they're filling up. Oh, that's quite easy, that. Right, so I've lined all those. I'll do the others as well. So all those are done now, so I'm just filling these and I've made enough supers to make a full stack. But I've only got three lots of the frames. So let's go and put these on. Okay, so pop that there, pop that there, pop that one there. Nice. And I'm going to get that and put it into here. And then put this on top. Oh, look at that. That looks awesome. I love it. And apart from the mix-up with the wood, and it sh I shouldn't have been a mix-up really, but uh, it, it was. It went, uh, it went okay, I think. And I'm looking forward to making some more of those because I think I'd like three there, I think. Hmm, I think that would look quite nice. Is this other one ready yet? Oh yeah, so I can make some more of those. So I've just got this last one I'm harvesting. And I've got loads of honeycomb out of these. Right, let me pick these up. Have I got room? Yeah, let's pop that there and then I can have an empty slot. There we go. So quick. Pop this in here. Nice. And these frames do have durability. So if you can see, 30 out of 32. So just harvesting it once took away two durability but as you can imagine that's going to last a long long time there we go pop this in there and then pop this on top there we go i did try and stack more on there but uh, unfortunately one two three four four supers is all you can fit in a stack well all i could fit in a stack i think that's it i don't think i've done that wrong so there we go. How pretty is that? I think it's gorgeous. I really do. And there you go. I did like that teaching session from Shino. I thought it was really, really fun. And he's got loads and loads of tutorials on his channel, so you must go and visit. I really enjoyed the whole process, apart from the bit with the lid, though. And it took a little bit of sussing out, but we got it in the end. Yay! So that's it for this episode. Thank you ever so much for watching. I really appreciate you all. So take care, everybody, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.